Hey guys. Oh, what a day, huh? Hope you guys stay alive. These markets have shifted big time. One moment they are short biased, edged, favored. Now they are long biased ever since the meme stocks have ran up. So gave longs huge confidence and they're running everything up. So those who are staying is getting killed. So uh, before I start, I just wanna give you guys some advice to realize how markets can shift in biasness from long, uh, longs to shorts, shorts to longs, so you see what sparked it, right? There's always the catalyst that sparks it. In small caps, usually one crazy ass runner. In this case, is the meme stocks like AMC. AMC just fucking went crazy, so it sparked up everything again. Everyone's just chasing everything nowadays, so uh, just be aware of that. I hope you guys can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. You guys can hear me, let me know. Okay, good. Because I am going to fucking rat up the store. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Uh, what should I be... <laughs> how far do I want to take this? Let me, let, me, let me go back and read some of my... The things that triggered me today, guys. All right, guys, you guys, ready? you guys ready for some truth? I don't know if you can handle the truth. You ready for some truth? Can you handle the truth? I don't know if you can handle the truth, guys. All right, here it is, guys. I'm going to be fucking brutally honest with you guys. Some of you guys may not like to listen to this. Some of you guys are guilty of this. Some of you guys are in denial of this. Some of you guys are just fucking stupid. Too stupid for your own good. Some of you guys just need tough love. Some of you guys just need to be fucking told the truth. No holds barred. I need to... Just fucking hear it, okay? So yesterday, I don't want to name any names, guys. This is, this is if, if you think it's you, don't fucking take it personally. If, the, if this is you, do not take it personally. But, you know, think in your head, you should take it personally. Because if it's you, it's you. <laughs> Meaning, not specifically, I'm not saying that whatever I'm going to say is about you specifically. But I'm just saying in general, if this is you, take it to heart. This is all tough love, guys. I've been doing this thing for a long time. Some days are better than other days. I Today is just one of those days. So it started yesterday, guys. I ran into a follower. I was just sitting around. Um, I'm not going to say where because I don't want to. This, this is not about him. Okay? So if, if, if you're a listening guy, um, this is not about you. Okay? This is in general. In general. So yesterday. This is all started yesterday, guys. So I think everything happens for a reason, guys. Um, it teaches me a lesson, teaches everybody a lesson. So yesterday I was sitting around, I went to, um, I went out somewhere and I saw a, someone go, Hey, it's you, want to rock or whatever. Right. And then, um, and I'm like, Oh, Hey. And then, so I started talking about training. He goes, yeah. He's uh, he goes, I follow you for a long time, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is usually how it goes, right? Hey, I've been following you forever. You're fucking awesome, man. I learned a lot about you. And I'm like, are you in MIC? No, man. I'm in fucking this other room. The fucking... Uh, this fucking barbarian room, you know? <laughs> I'm like, why aren't you in MSC? Well, I've been with barbarian for fucking five years now. I, I'm like, how are you doing? Are you making money? No, dude, I'm losing hell of money. Every year I'm losing money. Why are you in it? Because you know what, man? I, he's really teaching me something. You know, he has these giant ass P&Ls. Giant ass P&Ls. And so he, he must be doing something right, right, Val? He's posting all these giant ass P&Ls. And like, you, you understand how he's getting these giant P&Ls. He's front loading that shit, buying this shit up, pumping it to two thousand people, streaming it, and it is like you are buying it. Well, I don't, I don't know. I just think I need to be quicker. I think I'm too slow. 
Uh, he's making so much money. He must be legit. He's posting all this stuff. He must be legit. I'm like, don't you realize you are the fucking fool? He is buying this thing, loading the shit out of the stock before he is alerting it. He's using you. And this guy, look up Stockholm Syndrome, where your captives, where the captives are defending the abuser. So he's getting raped every day, he's losing for five years. But yet, but yet he, he's defending this guy. He's like, you know, and so I, I, I'm like, okay, you know, I, so I offer him, hey, we have a $99 special. There's nothing to do with, I'm not going to make rich off this guy. I just feel bad for him, right? So I'm like, join for $99. Because he's like, I don't understand these guys. They come up to me and go, Val, you've helped me for years. But then they join other rooms. Because maybe they think that, maybe, because you know what, man, I don't sell lifestyle. Alex and I don't fucking sell lifestyle. We, we look like shit. We look like this. I fucking, I've not showered, you know, today. I... We don't post our giant PLs. We don't post our nice cars. We don't post our nice li lifestyle. I, I don't know what the hell it is. Maybe because we're too fucking nice. We are too fucking nice. We, we want to help everybody and we give a lot away for free. Okay? We give so much away for free that people think that, hey, uh, we don't need to learn anything because we have a free YouTube channel, all that stuff. So this guy's losing for five solid years and he won't change it. And I'm like, okay. Hey, man, I'll see you later, bro. And then today, it, it, you know, so I'm, I'm wondering why am I getting bombarded with so many DMs, so many messages. Hold on a second, I have a trade on. I'm here helping you guys and still trading. <laughs> but, um, So I'm here wondering why I'm getting bombarded today of all these. So I believe everything happens for a reason, guys. And I'm like getting bombarded with all these messages, um, asking simple things. And I'm like, I keep saying, why don't you ask the moderators? Why don't you ask whoever else, right? And so it turns out I figured it out, guys. And I think this is good. So thank you, whoever did that, okay? I'm not bashing you at all. I, I really sincerely thank you because I now understand the reason what's going on in the community. So I found out today that no one trusts anybody. They, even they join MIC, they don't trust anybody except me or Alex. You know, they, they refuse to talk to any moderator. They refuse to talk to anybody else because they're like, I've been burned so badly by barbarian, by, by whoever else. You know, some guy gets on the microphone, he pumps. And so he's, li he's literally listing all of the services that scammed him. Should I tell you who it is? I'm not going to tell you who it is, but you know what? Pretty much everybody. <laughs> um... Everybody scammed him. Anybody on the microphone scammed him. So if you want to know who scams people, the people that have a microphone, any motherfucker that has a fucking microphone pumping their fucking positions, their trades is a scammer. Why are you pumping your shit? They are not teaching you how to trade. They are trying to make money off of you. MIC, I'm not even bragging about MIC. I, I've never pumped a stock, guys. I'm here teaching you to trade so that you don't become a fucking sheep. When I started fucking trading, I was a fucking sheep. I lost so much money chasing. And I always thought, if I was quicker, if I was quicker, I would make money. It's my fault, it's my fault. It's not his fault, he's making money all the time. But I understand that, I don't understand, I did not understand the fact that these guys were buying up huge positions. Oh, hold on a second, guys. They are buying up huge, huge positions of low floats and then pumping it to you. And your dumbass is congratulating them. Wow, he's making so much money because you're the fucking dumbass, okay? He, there's a reason. Think about this. Are you – so, okay, it's okay to join a chat room and be pumped to if you know that is the reason for the chat room. Lots of these chat rooms are coming up right now. Nowadays, free chat room, and it's all group pumps. Whoever gets in first makes money. Whoever gets in last gets fucking killed. And it's known. If you make it known that that's it, I don't have a fucking problem with it. You should not have a problem with it. You should know, buyer beware. But these, some of these rooms are masquerading as educational rooms. And that's what fucking pisses me off. You are not a fucking educator, motherfucker. You are nothing but a pumper. What the fuck are you teaching people? 
Can people replicate your process and make money? No, they cannot, unless they have 2,000 sheep. Buying fucking stocks are broken, way down. Who the fuck does that? Unless you have a room full of sheep buying shit up. Who the fuck is buying huge positions, nosebleeds of a low float all the time that has no volume prior to them buying? Only pumpers. If you are a room of pumping, it's okay. That's your MO. That's your motive. That's your, that is your, that's okay. But do not masquerade and fuck up anybody else who's legitimately trying to educate people. I, sometimes I, sometimes I tell us I give up, man. I'm going to fucking create an alert service and fucking just don't give a fuck, dude. I'm going to create a fucking alert. I know how to fucking trade. Alex knows how to trade. These fuckers do not know how to trade. That's why they're pumping. Imagine if I knew what the fuck I was doing and I abused my power and my position and my notoriety and my fame and people trust me, they would buy everything I fucking post. I could buy up the fucking entire float of a low float and push it up myself and become even richer than I am. Why don't I do that? Is it because I'm stupid? Because I don't know how to trade? Or because I'm a fucking good human being that can make money without doing that. I don't need any more fucking... Dude, I believe in karma. I want to help people. I've made enough where... You know what, man? I fucking... Of course I wouldn't want more money. Of course I want a private jet. Of course I want this. I want a fucking submarine. <laughs> I want to fucking fly next to Richard, Sir Richard Branson on the fucking Virgin Atlantic to go to space. Of course I want to do that shit. But you know what, man? There's something I want even more. I want to be a fucking good human being that helps the fucking world, society, okay? I, some of these motherfuckers, think about this. Ask yourself, where were they two years ago? Broke as a fucking joke. Most of these guys two years ago were broke. The fucking, the COVID happened. They all became traders. I hate this fucking shit. Everybody I talk to, I'm a day trader. I'm a day trader. What do I do? I buy a Dogecoin. Okay, man. Okay, sure. You made a million dollars doing that. But you're not a fucking trader. Just because you made money. It's like, okay, I fucking play golf. What do you do? I'm a professional golfer. Why? Oh, well, I fucking, I, I want some money from my friends because I was playing a fucking skins game with my fucking friends. Now I'm a professional golfer. <laughs> well, I had sex with a few girls. I'm a fucking porn star now. <laughs> you know? And so don't, don't pretend that you're... Your accidental hobby, your accidental gambling became some sort of fucking, makes you some sort of fucking educational wizard. I am okay with the fact that you are a fucking bumper. Do what the fuck you want to do. I will short your shit and make money. But do not fuck me. I just don't fucking get these guys. How the f There's one rule that you should always know if you can tell someone's a pumper. Will they walk around in public? Are they scared to get their ass whooped? If they were seen. Alex and I walk around every fucking day. You know where I fucking walk. The reason why we're able to walk around. Because we're good people. We don't scam anybody. We don't fucking pump and dump. We actually help people. People want to meet me. I don't want to meet them. Whereas the scammers don't want to meet anybody. Because they will get their ass kicked. Which makes our job so incredibly difficult. This member, this member today says, I, they don't trust anybody because every moderator in these pump rooms are scammers. They are uh, the, the fucking, the chief guy, whoever the fuck the guy is, the guru food, he brings them on, parades these guys around because they have giant PLs and they just play here. They don't know how to trade. These guys have been trading for one year, loads up on certain fucking stocks, and now they're a fucking guru. Because of the fact that you made money for one year, two years does not make you a fucking educator. I, fuck man, any fucking buddy. So it's a guy that made a million dollars in Deutsche coin. It's now a fucking professional day trader. Think about that, guys. Okay, so I don't, so whoever the fuck you guys are listening to now, man, I, I am so done with trying to fucking be a good guy. Uh, don't come to me after you get burned and beg for a discount. Don't fucking come to me and beg to help once you get burned because of the sudden, you're in the other room. Why the fuck are you asking 
the guys you're paying thousands of dollars to for help. What? Why are you asking me for help? So many people hit up Alex and I asking to help, but they are currently in other rooms. Why don't you ask those motherfuckers that you paid one to? This is not even about the money, guys. This is a fact that, man, I really care. And sometimes I, I give up. I, I, I'm like, dude, man, be, being a caring individual makes me pissed off. I just want to disappear sometimes and just fucking, I don't want to deal with this shit. You know how many DMs I get? You know how many fucking DMs I get on fucking my Modern Rock account, on my Twitter account, on the MIC account? How many people I help? And it's just constant. But the thing is, the weird shit is, man, they, they, they ask me for help, but they don't join. They join these other services because they tell me because of the P&L. People post giant ass P&Ls and who knows the real fake. You post giant P&Ls and you lose the next day. And so um, one of the members told me like, yeah, you know, he trusted some, some moderator that made $100,000, but then he lost it back the next day. So there's been a migration out of a certain pump and dump room. I would say the pump and dump, I mean, I knew this guy, but he just has no risk management. And so there's been a migration. I think it was, I can't, so a lot of people come from to, to MIC because we have risk management and they, they say, I'm so sick of it, man. I make money for five days and I lose everything back and more. And that's how the moderators are over there. They have, they're just fucking gamblers on that shit. It's fucking fine, guys. You can fucking join what the fuck you want to do. It's your fucking life. You want to lose money, you lose fucking money. But don't fucking, don't come to MIC and disrespect me or any of my moderators by saying, we, I don't trust anybody because I got burned in the past. Fuck you. Don't come to MIC. Just because just because you got burned doesn't mean I'm the guy that burned you. Just because just because some girl hurt you doesn't mean that the next girl's gonna fucking hurt you, you dumbass. You know, it's like what the fuck. You know, it's kind of like, dude, what are we in fuck? Are you? This is the reason why people lose money trading. It's not because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Because a lot of times it's the mental. They're fucking pussies. They. They've been burned in the past. Now they are scared. It's, it's, and then what happens? The same thing with relationships, right, guys? You get some, some fucking, someone hurts you, and so now you're scared to get in a relationship. So what do you do? Dude? You're now a fucking 50-year-old fucking virgin, and you're going to be fucking crying for the rest of your life. You're going to be a fucking loser. Stop fucking crying, dude. You know, fucking man, man the fuck up sometimes. Just because someone hurt you doesn't mean that nothing, that guy's going to hurt you. You, if you have this defeatist attitude. It becomes a magnet. You're a magnet for negativity, and we don't want that shit. I hate that shit, dude. I lose. I when I lose, man, I lost today. I'm fucking pissed off. I lost a loss today. You know, T cat and shit. Uh, um, cause I mean, sometimes I get flustered too. Sometimes I do stupid shit. But you don't see me fucking crying online. It's manipulation. But when you when you win, you're the fucking best trader in the fucking world. It's so fucking funny. They can lose a million dollars. A million dollars, three days in a row, whatever the fuck it may be. Crying, crying, what good manipulation. The next day they make money, dude, I'm the fucking best. I knew it, motherfucker. Why are you in my room? I'm the fucking best. I'm the best. I'm like, jackass, dude. Just like, it's fucking embarrassing as fuck. You, and, and you people fall for it. You, all you fuckers fall for this shit, dude. I mean, you, I'm going to fucking lay it out, man. You want to hear, you want to see all the fucking scams? You know how fucking people scam you? Low flow. They buy it first. Not only do they buy it first, they share within the moderators within the room. They have a secret fucking room where they're fucking sharing the fucking shit. Um, and this is why we don't pump. There is a fucking, there is no pumping whatsoever, no alerting in MIC because of this shit. Because people in, a, a, in positions of power can easily manipulate you. I can buy the whole fucking shit, me and Alex, share with a bunch of moderators and they start posting you. And then when it goes up, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're the fucking best. You donkey fucks, man. Seriously, you guys are, I don't want to fucking say shit, but you guys are dumb as shit, dude. You fuckers are dumb as shit. You fuck with that shit. You're still in that fucking room, dude. You're in all those motherfucking guys' rooms who fucking do this shit. It's, it's like you guys want to fucking get scammed, dude. Seriously, I mean, I, 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 I just don't fucking get it, guys. I am very flustered today. I'm training like shit today. And then I'm thinking, why am I like this? I, I always, when things happen negatively in my life, I always think it's a learning experience. So I got very arrogant 
Um, you know, I, 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 that's what I think. I, I, you know, today, you know, I came in, I wanted to fucking make a fucking car today, and then I'm losing a car, or whatever that may, it may be, right? So, it's just, it's just, dude, sometimes you got to reset in your life. Um, everything happens with reason. So, and so sometimes shit gets triggered, but I want to tell you so you don't fucking get scammed, man, because I'm so sick of this. I don't want, I don't, I mean, fuck some days, I don't want to wake up and help anybody. Seriously, dude. It might be one day where I wake up and say, fuck this, I'm done with this shit. I'm fucking done. I'm out of I'm gonna fucking turn the dark side and start pumping shit. And you don't want you you don't wanna fucking learn for real? Fuck you. You think you, you, you think ninety nine dollars is gonna fucking change my fucking life? I'm working so fucking hard to help you for free. We even do the boot camp for fucking free. And here you are, fucking lose all your money to another fucking room, and then you come and crying at me. Don't fucking cry at me, dude. I don't hear no more fucking sad stories from you motherfuckers. I don't want to hear the fact that, oh, I've been falling for years. Thank you. you. You helped me so much. And then you're in some other fucking room. Don't fucking come and ask me any more fucking questions, dude. Unless you fucking are serious about fucking getting help. Stop fucking throwing your money away from fucking stupid shit and then coming back to me like I'm a fucking charity case, dude. I'm not going to be charitable to you guys anymore. Seriously. This is like, wake the fuck up, dude. We are working our ass off every fucking day here. You don't see me pump shit. You see a single pump for me? Me and Alex post our fucking charts. We don't post shit. We don't pump shit. And what? You're defending these motherfuckers? So listen up, dude. What room are you fucking in right now? Okay? Whatever the fuck room you're in, guys. Whatever the fuck room you guys are in. Wow, this t cat's ripping a new asshole. Whatever room you're in, reassess. Even MIC. Reassess. Fuck you. Stop focusing on the room. Fuck you. Get the fuck off my feet, bitch. I'm not fucking here to fucking try to... Don't fucking play psychotherapist with me. Fuck you. Just get off, dude. Seriously. I'm not fucking... I don't need you fucking help me. I'm here to help you. Stop focusing on the other rooms. Dude, this is not about me, you dumb fucks. I'm gonna fucking make it know who this guy is. I know you're trying to help me, but, but I don't need this shit, dude. Seriously. Man, I am fine, guys. I'm here to help you, and you think you're fucking helping me by saying don't focus on, don't focus on other rooms. You fucking idiot, fuck. <laughs> no, it seems like you're unhappy. No shit, I'm unhappy because of fucking dumb fucks like you. You seem unhappy, focus on every room. Oh yeah, Bao, but how do you do this uh, inner line shit? Uh, tell me how you trade. Fuck you, see, you, 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 people like that are just as bad. They are trying to say, oh, it's okay, bro. It's okay. But hey, can I get some fucking free help with you? Are you going to give me a fucking hand job first or what, dude? <laughs> it seems like you're focusing too much on other shit. Um, and you are here listening to me. What, what the fuck have you done in your life? Have you helped anybody? Have you understand why I'm like this? Because you're a selfish motherfucking prick. All you think about is yourself. If I thought about myself, fuck you. You guys will all be fucking dead. You know how many years I traded in silence and killing you motherfuckers, not sharing you any of these things? You see how powerful the lines are? You see the Rob Zombie rule? You see all these fucking strategies, low-hanging fruit? You see I fucking kept, helped it, kept it to myself. And I could, I'm happy as fucking shit making millions of dollars a year. Wow, this shit's fucking... But, but the reason I'm pissed is because, you know what, man? I'm helping people. And so don't say... Don't be a fucking selfish prick and say, don't fucking speak up. And I'm going to tell you something, man. When I, was, when I was young, no one spoke up and no one helped me. No one spoke up, no one helped me, and people got scammed and they don't say shit. People, it's like politicians, man. When if, man, you know when shit goes wrong. Hold on, guys. People like me need to speak the fuck up. Don't you understand? Who, why am I the only motherfucker always speaking up? Because you know what? These other motherfuckers are too busy making money. Why am I the only one that's fucking trying to help you guys? And you're telling me, Bow, shut up. No, bitch. You fucking, you tell the other fucking guys in positions of power to speak up. 
I'm a fucking big ass whistleblower, man. I fucking have I have the the nukes to the fucking to to destroy this entire industry. Ah, fuck. I am the only one that's speaking out, guys. I want to tell everybody who's in a position of power that understands this shit to speak the fuck up. Stop fucking, stop fucking trying to play fucking games and try to be diplomatic and all this shit, man. It's fucking not helping anybody, guys. Damn, this thing's going crazy. It's the fact that people are too quiet. The fact that people are too quiet that, damn, this thing is crazy. It's the fact that people are too quiet that society's fucked up. Okay? Wow, I gotta get out of this. I was in the this shit. you guys understand what I'm saying it's, it's because people are too fucking quiet they don't speak out they don't speak up and they don't help others that society is fucked up guys okay society's stop talking about fucking tcast stop, you, dude I, I'm gonna end this see some of you fuckers fuck you guys whoever's posting stocks fuck you you are the fucking problem I'm gonna block every motherfucker that starts to pump a stock sir Knox shut the fuck up Get on and let's see who else pumps this shit. Sir Knox, you dumb fucking donkey fuck. I am trying to help people and you are here trying to pump. You are the fucking problem. People like you deserve to lose. People like you don't deserve to fucking ever get help. This is why I will never help people like you. I don't give a fuck you pay me a million dollars. People like that is the reason why I created MIC. I created MIC to scream and say, fuck you. You don't follow our fucking procedures. Get the fuck out. I don't need any of your fucking shit. Selfish pricks. I have the secret to make you rich. Everybody I mentored became rich. Everybody that I personally mentored became rich. I am your guru's guru. Your mentor's mentor. I only say shit. And you are sitting here trying to be a fuck. And so this is this is the reason why I left online social media for so long. After my big ass Fannie Mae win, I fucking just disappeared for the fucking reason. Because I got sick of it, dude. I was like, where's where? where, where it's like the rat race shit, right? And here you are. You have fucking you 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 you're listening to my stream. You're listening to my Instagram live, talking about talking about how. Selfish fuckers and all this shit. And here you are pumping your shit. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be fucking... Scroll back. Everyone scroll back and take a look at who's pumping stocks. Those people, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are not a good person. People like you don't deserve good shit in life. And this is why you're a fucking loser. This is why you lose. This is why God... Karma has fucked your life up because you are not a good person. Whenever I'm not a good person, I get fucking destroyed in many different ways, okay? I was not good, so fucking I get punished. So think about that. All you pumping motherfuckers, you try to fucking make a penny, you just lost an opportunity to make millions. A lot of my fucking... So called friends. Let's see. <sighs> you know, man, they could they could have gone to great lengths. I started MIC and look what happened. They're pissed off. And we how many how many members, Alex, have we helped in MIC, man? How many people became profitable? I helped Alex and now he's fucking he's just a fucking ridiculously good trader. I helped Tosh. I helped I'm not taking credit. My point being is, you know what, man? 
that's sharing the knowledge and then what they do with the knowledge is on them. And the, I like to teach people with good hearts, good souls, and that's how they become successful. If you take a look at all of the successful people out there, they were very humble. Those that do not, those that do not become humble will get humbled in the worst way possible. You know what the worst way possible is? The worst way possible is for you to become so successful and you think you're the shit and you lose it all. It's coming, guys. A lot of those people are like that. And the, the, the worst pain, the worst pain is when you have everything and you get destroyed because you are too, it's like that Icarus, right? It's like the, uh, the, the Greek novel Icarus, I mean the, 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 the god, what? When he flew too close to the sun and he got burned. So humble the fuck down, guys. So Alex told me to get on this and it'll fucking help me tremendously. I don't care really how much I lost today. I lost a ton today, actually. But um, but you know what, man? Everything happens for a reason. I became very humbled. I was, you know, something in my mind, you know, so I just needed to get out of this fucking thing. But it's kind of like, you know, man, it's not even about the money, guys. It's, it's I've, been, I've been getting bombarded with dumbass fucking questions because I... I couldn't understand why. And so finally someone admitted that, yeah, they got burned by all these these other rooms and they don't trust anybody. Um, Sex is fine. Sex is a good guy, man. And so I don't, I don't fucking doubt. Anybody that fucking posts this shit is a good guy. I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm going to tell you something. You guys are dumb as fuck. Social media. You guys fall for fucking social media. You are the dumbest fuck if you fall for all those personal... Sykes created a persona so that he can get started and he became very big because of that... That persona it doesn't mean that he's that, that he's like that. Look at me, man. I look like a fucking scrub, but I ain't a fucking scrub, motherfucker. I look weak, but I'll whoop your ass. You know, <laughs> Alex looks like a bum, but he's rich as shit. You know, shit like that. Um, uh, you fall for it. fucking these fucking chat room guys think they're traitors, but they're not traitors. You you are dumb as them. You are falling for that shit. Why don't you think outside the box and look at this shit? And I hope I fucking blew your mind today by fucking sharing with you all this shit. Okay? You fucking think these guys are good traders? Why? Think about this. Why, why would they post and pump? Why? It's because they want you to move that stock up for them. Think about all the reasons why people do. And you think about why do I want to teach people to trade? I want to teach people to trade to say fuck you to everybody else. Because you know what? You know what I like? I like the fact that I can say I fucking help that guy. I help that guy. So yes, there's a little ego about me, but everybody has a reason, right? I like I like to say, hey, I helped Alex. So Alex one day become a billion billionaire and say, you know what, man, I was there helping him when he started. That to me is worth more than a billion dollars. So everybody has a reason why they're doing this shit. Some people have it for greed. My, you know what my greed is? I'm, I have, I'm an ego maniac too. I like to know that I fucking help everybody, you know. But at least that's not gonna hurt anybody. You know, I fucking I started this shit a long time ago, guys. I helped so many motherfuckers, and that is my problem. I'm an ego maniac. I mean, fuck, dude. I, I'm a fucking ego maniac. I, I, I'm like, dude. I think I'm the best educator out there, you know. <laughs> and so I'm a fucking arrogant motherfucker too. So everybody has a fucking reason why they're doing this shit, right, guys? Some people do it for money. Some people do it for fucking power and fame. You know, but I like to think that, hey, I do it for my own selfish, but it's internalized to me only. And I started the pay it forward movement. I started the pay it forward movement a long time ago. And it's, it's you know, man... My problems, man, I, I, when I stay focused, I'm really good. When I get distracted, I get fucked up. And I'm a very emotional motherfucking guy. And so, you know, that when I, sometimes I flip a switch and I just fucking flip the table, right? So, um, today's one of them, man. Today's one of the guys. So, anybody have a question, guys? Anybody have a fucking question? If you want to know if your, your service is legit, bring them, let's go. Raise your hand. Who's in a fucked up service? Let's I'll let you rent to the world. Raise your hand. Who's in a fucked up service? That, but they didn't know they're in fucked up service, right? All right. Do you know you're a fucking... Raise your hand. I'll bring you on. <laughs> and let's spill it all out, guys. I don't need to say it. You guys will say it. Here is your chance to call out whoever the fuck you want to call out.
Raise your hand. Anybody, you guys are too pussy? <laughs> you got scammed? Are you too scared to get scammed? Why don't you, who got scammed here, man? Come on, come on. I'll bring you on right now. Did you not hear what I'm fucking trying to tell you? Speak the fuck up. You're being protected right now. Why the fuck are you trying to protect a scammer? Who got scammed? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. I'll bring you in. Raise your hand. Tell me I got scammed. Raise your hand. I'm going to fucking bring you on right now. Uh, say. Uh, raise your hand. Okay. Who's. Who, uh. Uh, it's to me, okay. Okay. Go live. What's up, brother? Yo. <laughs> we got the same hair. Yeah, we got the same hair. <laughs> I look like shit, too, Bao. Listen, before I say anything, I just want to tell you... Um, and I've, you know, I've, I've said this to you guys before, you've changed my life, okay? And throughout all the bullshit you guys go through and all the emotion, they may be a, you know, a thousand assholes or whatever it is, but there's one here and there that you guys really, um, you know, change people's lives. And, and, I, and I just wanna say thank you to you, all right? Um, you know, you, Alex, Freaking look, all the mods, everyone. All right, um, I'm gonna cut short. Uh, don't need to praise us anymore because uh, I've all right, uh, this is this is not a praising session. I, I appreciate it, bro. But I just want you to vent. All right, and, so and, okay. and, and, and you right. know, so, sure. So, um, you got the warrior trading bullshit fucking guy, right? Who <laughs> you, you know, um, I, I fucking paid for his stupid shitty service for a year, and uh, you know, nothing fucking worked, right. Because all he ever said was, you, you know, he put his delay on his fucking YouTube and shit, right? <laughs> and, you know, so, like, so like you think it's real time, but, but, like, this motherfucker is robbing me, right? Because, you know, uh, he's like, buy here, finger on the buy button, right? <laughs> buy now, and me, because I don't know shit, right? He comes across as this loving character, right? With his ponytail, and he fucking plants fruit and veggies, <laughs> right? So, like, so like you fucking go around you're like oh let me like follow this guy so finger on the buy button i buy the fucking thing it think tanks i don't know how i don't understand why right because that's what he says to do and he's like <laughs> the guy and he's like you know the more people who you know go on youtube i'll continue for free and all this bullshit right so that's just more sheep right it's just people like me i don't know shit it's like oh please stay on for free please stay on for free so he's manipulating the whole world and, um, you know, I've, I, I lost tens of thousands of dollars, like my savings, you know, not, not money that I had to invest. Literally, I trusted this fucking guy, right? This was all of my money, right? Like there was a point in time where I sold my fucking, like all my things because I had no more money, right? I sold my fucking guitars and shit. I had no more money. And like, you know, so like, you know, I followed this guy for a year, lost all my fucking money, you know, credit card. Oh, and like, she's like, oh, you know, sure, trader. Open up these accounts, these fucking overseas accounts here and there. Open up these accounts. So I'm fucking doing that shit. And those don't even trade on the exchanges, right? Like, freaking you call me that. So it's like, I'm losing all my money. My, my fucking platform's fucked up. My freaking mentor's fucked up. I'm losing all my life savings. I'm crying. I just lost 10 grand in two seconds. I, I didn't fucking have. I'm telling my kid we got no fucking money, right? Like, that's legit shit. So, you know, definitely the guy, the one fucking guy is this redhead, carrot-looking fucking guy <laughs> who is fucking with glasses. He's in his fucking Massachusetts fucking place with his dog who sucks too. And uh, it's, all, it's all fucked up. So if you're following that motherfucker, tell him to go fucking fuck off. Get your money back because you're stealing from you. And then join IC. You'll, you'll, like, you'll probably get a fucking monthly membership for something and just learn how to trade. And, I, I, and I'll fucking tell you what. Last thing, every time this guy says he's buying, I'm already selling into him. <laughs> I fucking know. All the algos know too. When this fucking guy's buying at the high, telling people one minute breakout bullshit candle, I'm fucking gone already. So when I see farmers buying, I, I, I already sold into his shit. <laughs> That's the MIC process. <laughs> Selling to farmers bullshit.
<laughs> you see, guys? Hey, I'll give you a great hand. How does that feel? Venting. Does that Yo, fucking make you feel I good? I've been wanting to fucking do that, actually. For yeah, like, bro. For time. So thank you. Fuck the scammers. I, you know what, man? I'm not going to say anything. Everybody has a different spirit. So what I want to do on this platform right now is to let you fucking vent to the world. Because you know what, man? It fucking balls up. It makes us all pissed. So we need to let it out. The moment you let out, you're like, I'm fucking free. I'm so pissed. I was so stupid that I got scammed. I'm so pissed he hurt my family. I'm so pissed that he fucking ruined me financially. It's true. I'm fucking pissed. You know? I'm not, I, I, when I say I'll he, I'm not here, I'll tell you what, though. So I want to bring another person on. I want you to vent whoever fucking scammed me. If I scam you, vent it out. I'm just saying, I'm going to get you. It's open. It's open season. Hunting season for everybody, including myself. I just ranted all this shit and it felt great. You just ranted it. How does that fucking feel? Liberating. Because now he knows that he's a fucking turd. You know? Yep. And, 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 you know, I can't, I can't see him on the street. If I did, I'd fucking break his face open, right? So That's like, why they don't walk around, bro. But That's like, why they do not walk around. But, but this is good enough. Yep. This is therapy, bro. Seriously. This is, thank you, Alex, for telling me this. I love this. Maybe I want to start doing this shit once a week. A fucking pure rent fucking vlog every fucking week. I don't care what the fuck it is. We're going to bring people on and they're going to fucking vent. And you know what, man? It fucking feels great, man. Now now you, the, the anger is dissipating slowly. It's off you, my shoulders now. I yeah. don't anymore. Yeah. And so it's, it, it, it's like, you know, you go to the fucking therapy. It's like, who hurt you? Where he hurt you? Put the fuck out of them right now, right? And that's it. And now you're like, your anger is going to, whoo. Oh, and there's another guy, actually, too. Time out, real quick. There's this other guy. He's like a younger guy. I, I actually forget his a trade trade caster. Is that it? I, I, that's another fucker. Um, I was in his shit, too. He's like, oh, that, oh he, 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 just, he just gave his mom like 10 grand or something like that. He, he, he bought a, a house in a Lambo or something. I, I, think, I think that's who it is. The beard. I don't know. He's in New Jersey, too, or something. That fucker, too. Same fuck. They don't know shit. They don't know so, shit. So... So tell me, how did they fool you? What are the symptoms? What are the signals? I didn't know. So I what just, sold you? What sold you that that you thought they were experts? What um, qualities? I would I wouldn't say that I thought they were experts. I would just say it was just happenstance and chance that I found them before anything else. So I didn't know anything. I'm I'm like a clean slate canvas, and here comes something across my t deck mar. Yeah, that's who it is. So there's something across my fucking, yeah, that, that's him. So he comes across the table. I'm like, oh, all right, let me give this guy a shot. Whatever. I don't fucking know, right? I don't know, right? So I'm like, let me give so, it a So what sold you, though? Was it the fancy Lambo? The car? No, no, no. It was just, let me just, no. It was just, you know, you go fish. You, wa you, you wanted to fucking you cast wanted to believe fucking, it. Huh? Right? That's it. You really, you, you, you wanted it. That's why. I wanted it to be anybody. Like, all the fucking books. I don't read one. I got all the fucking books. When you go fishing, you don't cast out one time. You cast out a bunch of times, and, and you just learn from there and try to see what the fuck's biting and what's, and what's not. But the only difference is with fishing, if I don't catch a fish, I'm okay. If I lose money during these guys, I have a fucking problem. That's my money, and they don't give a fuck. So uh, this is what happens, man. You know what? Sometimes we're so desperate that we, we, we fall in love with whoever comes first. So it's like if you're, if you're a lonely person, like relationship, right? If you're a lonely person, you're like, Whoever comes, you're gonna you're gonna have this image in your mind like, oh, this person is the savior of all your fucking problems and shit. And so then you know, so, so you get you fooled yourself. And so Let me show you something. If it's okay, Bow, you know, yeah. I, I um I moved from Manhattan, from from you know, I, I had a a one bedroom in Manhattan with me and my son, and I took the leap because of MIC, because what I because of what I've been taught by you guys. Yeah, to Jersey to a four bedroom house, okay. And downsize, downsize. Yep. And the quality of life that has been changed for myself and my family because of you guys, that's the real thing, right? Quality of life, safety, all that other stuff. And it's, uh, whatever, I don't, I, I don't have to show you, but you know, um, MIC is the real shit. So if you guys have conflicted, hopefully this helps. I don't know. Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Right. All right, man. All right, man. Who's next? We're going to keep going until this. Feet dies down. I want whoever fucking hurt you, come on. So I'm going to get um, Midtown off. I love you, brother.
Love you, bro. Uh, you're, you're, you're a real guy, man. So log Thanks. off somehow, and then uh, I'll bring another. I don't know how you want me to log off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just get logging them back on. Yeah. All right, guy. Who's next? Who wants to fucking vent about a scammer? This is your fucking opportunity. Don't be scared. You're scared. You are hurting other people. You, it is your obligation to help others, and I will protect you. We're going to do this maybe once a week. I love this. Because you know what? By sharing your experiences, it helps other people. And it will fucking scare the shit out of the next guy that thinks he's going to be able to scam. Say, I, hey, raise your hand. I don't, I, don't, I don't say, hey, I got scammed. Please bring me on. Who wants to get on? Don't be fucking shy, guys. You tell me who's a scammer, but you don't want to get on and tell it? You're just as bad as them, man. Raise your hand. Who wants to get in? Come on. I don't want to hear no anonymous guys typing who's a scammer. Okay, we're going. We'll bring out Trent. Long. Mr. Trevor. Hello. What's up, Val? How you doing, man? Hey, I am doing all right, man. Man, hey. I'll tell you what. I got fucking scammed so bad. So Go bad. You it, have no idea, bro. Dude, I have been in MIC for, God, since like 2019. And I love you guys. But again, I'm not going to go into all that stuff. But essentially is what I can tell everybody is that, you know, I got started trading when I was like 15 or 16 years old. And I only had, you know, like a couple grand to my name. Dude, I got raped left and right by farmer. And I'm not going to say Tim Sykes because I know Tim Sykes really is a good guy deep down, right? But maybe his courses are a little overpressed, right? But dude, oh my God. I couldn't stand these guys, bro. And especially farmer freaking ginger Jesus, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, man. Dude, I can't stand that guy, bro. He's so arrogant. He's not. Maybe he, Part he, of uh, philosophy, man. Maybe he booked your Wi-Fi trip. <laughs> <laughs> he booked your Wi-Fi. He went, your Wi-Fi kind of went down there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, bro. I know, bro. Well, hey, uh, I am following the MIC process, um, and uh, I actually have a daytime job, and I got to leave here in about five minutes. Uh, but I just wanted to hop on here super quickly and just thank you. Just let everybody know that, bro, the scammers are out there. And, hey, I'm not going to lie. I do embrace all the scammers because of the liquidity, and that's the only reason. Yep, yep. So. I have nothing to problem against them. Seriously, I trade against yeah. all that. But yeah. I'm just trying to tell you that the point is, Fuck, man, my selfishness yeah. versus you getting killed. Is, you know what I'm saying? Me making 10 grand and you losing two grand when you have nothing in the bank is worse, right? So that, exactly. that's what I'm trying to tell people. So yeah. thanks, Trenton. Thank you yeah. for coming out, man. Well, hey, All right. thank you very much. I'll see you soon. All right, man. See you guys. Thanks. All right, man, let's keep going until the time goes out. Come on. Who's that? This is fucking good, man. You're, you're doing a huge service by helping people, man. Seems like the same guys fucking scamming everybody. <laughs> I need to figure out how who's he's using for his marketing team. <laughs> All right, man. Ray New Turn. I don't know who this guy is, but I'm going to bring you on, brother. I can't bring you on. It doesn't work. We got, let me see. Come on. Who else? Who else, guys? Go live with Ray New Turn. There we go. Once again, these are all opinions, guys. I'm pretty sure these guys are trying to sue everybody, but fuck the week. Yeah. Man. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, uh, yeah. I just, I just joined MIC like a few days ago, but like it's helping me a lot because like, uh, I got scammed by like, uh, what's it? Ricky Gutierrez, <laughs> and like, but, dude, I lost like forty grand on that. What did he do, man? How tell tell us what happened with your experience. Like, he just kept on asking us to follow his signal, follow his signal. There's no process. There's no risk to reward. There's nothing. And, like, everything just fucked me up. So, oh, like, I just kept and following and following. So, and like, why, what made you join that service? So, wait, I want to show the world, like, what makes people join these things? 
I, I think for me, what made me join was like, uh, not really. It's basically like how like I could provide for my family at like a young age, and like I'm pretty young, so like like how how you can like exponentially grow all your money, but like it didn't work that way for me, and like that just fucked me up. So he yeah. sold you. He, he sold you the dream. Yeah, basically. And then like the bullshit well, dream. Like, okay, so so keep that in mind, guys. People are selling you the dream. Okay. Yeah, and but the like dream was never about education, right? It was follow my alerts, right? Yeah, yeah. That was that was the that was the dream. It wasn't like following like a process or anything. Or like it was just about following alerts, and like how alerts could yep. help you. That's and this it. is why when we started MIC, I took no fucking alerts. So think about this. Everybody likes to sell a dream because who doesn't like to sell a dream? Because the dream works. But there's ways to sell it. Like it's through education. Not through following me. I'm the best trader in the world, right? So that's those are the signals, guys. When you see someone trying to sell you the dream by selling you their signals, no, <laughs> no, run the fuck away. Hold on, guys. Yeah. Anything? Okay. Yeah. Anything else? And then for I want to go ahead. Yeah, Tim, Tim likes like like he's a good guy with all his strategy and stuff, but like his trading style just doesn't fit me. Like following like. Like his news alerts and following like everything like quick, it's too fast. Like there's no way I can plan anything out. There's no way I can follow like the breaking news right away. And especially with, like sub penny stocks, that shit is crazy. Like it moves too fast for me. Yep. Thanks, man. Yeah. So that's the thing. So selling alerts, guys, is not work. Education is important. Okay. So that's the key. Thanks, man, for coming on. Thank you for. And you feel better. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot better. You love this, right? Thanks, that thing here is awesome, man. Thanks, Ray. Yeah. All right, who's All right, who's up you. to bat, guys? Bye. We'll take a couple more. We'll come, take a couple more. I like, I like this, man. Maybe we'll do this like once every two weeks, man. Maybe once every two weeks, Alex. What, what do you think? This is fucking awesome, man. I love this. Uh, the people are fucking having a good time. You know, you got yeah. so log off and log on again, Ray, so we can. So who's up, man? I'm gonna take a couple more, and then we'll, we'll end it here because I. I, I <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Someone made money. All right, who wants to get on? Uh, Ray, I think you got to get off because I'm not. Yeah, we go. Who wants to get on, guys? We'll take maybe one or two more and then we'll, we'll call it a day because uh, uh, my lawyer's going to be fucking all over my ass. <laughs> but we didn't say anything. I mean, I didn't say anything, right? So, I mean, it's, all everything is fucking true, man. Um, who wants to get on, guys? Say, hey, I got scammed. Let me on. Okay, Fairfax. I'm trying to bring Fairfax on. Uh, I don't know how it's doing it. Uh, I can't go. I can't. I can't bring you on. It's weird. Okay, it's weird. I can't bring Fairfax on for some reason. Who else, guys? I can't bring anybody on. It's fucking weird. Maybe someone's got to get off. I can't bring Fairfax on. How do I do this? Am I limited? It's so weird. I'm trying to bring someone else on. It's so lame. <laughs> Well, what do you guys want to do, guys? Maybe maybe we'll do this again next week if I can get this. Uh... So uh, save this, guys. I think we're, we're, I like this, man. Maybe we'll do this once a week, guys. A uh, good venting session. I fucking love this shit, dude. This is a great new segment. Uh, so I want to end it here, guys, because I can't, I can't, I can't fucking uh, bring it on. Okay, view requests. Send invites. Okay, I'm going to send an invite to uh, Fairfax. Let's see what's. I want to send an invite. Go live in room. Send a request. Let's see if that works. So what we have here, guys, is proof that people that sell alerts, signals. I hate that word, signal. Beware. They are 
fucking scamming. I, I hate to use that word, but that's your words, right? So be careful of people that's selling selling you guys signals. Um, okay, I can bring Fairfax on. Uh, let's see. Where are you, Fairfax? Go live with Fairfax. There you go. I send you a request. I think it just takes time for the other person to log off. Who else, guys? I'm going to line them up. Okay. Uh, shit. I send you an air. Uh, Fairfax, you must upgrade. You're using an old app, brother. <laughs> All right, who's next? I'm going to bring you on the next time, Fairfax, when you upgrade. Um, who's next, guys? We have time for one more. Come on. Raise your hand. I got scammed. Who really wants to fucking lay into it? Go on here. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. We have a webinar here at MIC at 2 o'clock. We are going to start continue the rant in the webinar. Text toss. We're going to post a link on Twitter. I'm going to post a link on Instagram. 2 p.m. market time in one hour. We have a fucking webinar. A free webinar. We have a fucking free webinar, guys. I'm going to bring on Slayer. I'm going to wait for it to reset again because uh, I invited another guy. I'll bring on another person. But 2 p.m. You want to continue the rant? Fucking join me. I'm going to bring you on. We're going to rent the fuck out of this shit. All you guys got to go. It's 2 p.m., man. This is a very good therapy session, guys. I'm glad you guys point out the fact that the thing is this, man. We, we don't need to talk about the people right now. It's just selling pumps and dumps do not work. Two PM free webinar, guys. We're gonna continue this. Let me see who am I gonna bring on. Raise your hand. Let me see. It's not working. It's weird. It's like someone's someone. Uh, I sent an invitation. Someone got canceled or something. You see, let me see. Can you explain? Can you explain why Forex is a scam? I mean, dude, we use the word scam kind of like haphazardly, but I don't, how many fucking Forex traders you know make money? Uh, this is why I think um, it's a scam. It's because so many people are pumping, are, manip are scamming you, trying to join. Like, give me your money. I'll, I'll trade you fucking, uh, I'll trade for you, Forex and all that shit. And they're making money because they're getting paid to uh, bring people in. They're getting paid by the broker, the fake broker. It's a fu Think about this, man. Who the fuck is making money trading Forex? <laughs> Institutions only. Um, the more scammers that you have on something, it's like, dude, it's, I'm not going to say the scam, but fuck you. You're stupid to fucking trade Forex. All right. I'm going to go live with Fairfax. Yo, what's going on, Don? Hey, what's up, brother? <laughs> you high schooler? Yeah, yeah, I'm 17. Holy shit, dude. And you got scammed yeah. already? No, nah, nah, I'm not scammed. I'm training right now. Oh, but, but in high school. Yeah. Oh, shit, that's good. So we were talking about, like, uh, come on and vent if you got scammed so that we can warn other people to not get scammed. Yeah, about that. Like, just pretty much just... Uh, it's pretty much trial and error for me but like for um like for other people i say just don't like don't don't get sold uh hope you know do you, you get what i'm saying it's like don't get sold a fake reality if that makes sense because, oh, because trading trading itself is like pretty hard but yeah uh just want to come up so what's up hey what's up brother say hi hey. you guys in class pay attention to school <laughs> thanks brother i'd like to see you yeah. man Hey, keep keep going, school brother. I admire you for for, sure, uh, for learning, man. Keep it up, brother. Thank you, thank you, peace. All right, man. All right, we'll keep going until it turns off. When it turns off, we'll see you on the the uh, the the free webinar, okay, guys? Because I think this is one hour. So who who has a scam story? I I want to hear the scam story. This is what people fucking people are joining to see, right? I want to hear the scam story. 
and so I tell someone, just raise your hand, right? I got scammed when I first started day trading uh, uh, OTCs. Uh, I didn't really know that there were promoters and that they got free shares and shit like that. And so uh, some, some fucking like some guy actually came to my fucking house and showed me like, they're like, don't worry. So the stock tank like big time because I didn't fucking know they were getting free shares. He was being paid to pump. You know, so so th those are those kind of scamming stories. So, but each time you get scammed, you learn. You become a better trader because you learn. Every time you get hurt, you learn. You, we, remember what we said? You either win or we learn. Okay, I'm bringing on Slayer. I'm going to wait for it to reset, um, Stan, and I'll bring you on. Right now, I can't. I can't it doesn't let me because the, I think it has to reset a, a couple minutes. So we'll wait for it a couple minutes. Don't you guys love hearing this, man? You become, it's still not letting me do it. So let's wait a little bit, guys. Like I said, if it comes, um, if, it, if it dies, we'll see you in the webinar right now. I'm still trying to bring people on, but I think, Instagram has to reset from the last guy. Can just continuously bring people on. So, <laughs> I've got him in positions and shit. I don't really give a fuck being my good. Trying to bring people on. I love this man. I'm just trying to bring people on, guys. I'm so sorry. It doesn't. Oh. Slayer, for some reason, you, it doesn't let me bring you on, man. Uh, so who else has a story? Slayer, I'm sorry you can't bring it on. It doesn't work for you. Uh, but other people let, being able to bring it on. So who has a scam story? Come on. One more last one before the webinar. One more, guys, before the webinar. Who has a good scam story? One more, and then we go. I got to fucking eat <laughs> before we start. And we'll continue this stuff once again, guys, in... We'll continue this in the free webinar. That's it. No one has a scam story. I guess no one, huh? I'll give you another minute. All right, man. The unlikely astrologer. There we go. I know he got scammed. <laughs> Talk to him about that. What's up, my man? What's up, man? Can you hear me? Okay. Where you at, man? You in a coffee shop? Yep. Mr. Astrologer, man. The astrologer to the stars. <laughs> your 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 internet's kind of like going in and out, so. Fuck you, Bob. Seven, seven. There's no scammer. You stupid fuck. I'm gonna see who you are. Get off. I think we'll bring you on next time. So some some guy says there's no scams. You stupid fuck. So someone called. You. There's no scams. Okay, man. You, you that means you are a scammer. There's no scammer. All right, so, all right, one more we go. Otherwise, we'll go. I think it's getting kind of stale. People are getting kind of, you know, I don't know why people come on here and try to be all philosophical and shit. You know, when we say the word scam, it's like, who's been uh, deceived, right? I mean, uh, what is a scam? There's obvious scams where, I mean, it's all relative to what the fuck scam is, okay? So if I buy a bunch of fucking stocks low float and I pump it to you, is that a scam? You know, if if I steal money from your wallet as you're walking around, is that a scam? Yeah, you see. So people are like, "What is a fucking scam? Is the Wolf of Wall Street a scam?" Some people would say, "Oh, buyer beware! You stupid fuck! No, motherfucker! You are deliberately trying to deceive people. You are deliberately trying to pretend that you're a fucking trader and educator when you just started last year. You pretend that you you have knowledge of what you're doing." And you know what, man? Those that don't believe that, that there are people out there, they are probably the fucking – because they're defending themselves, dude. Seriously. All right. One more story, guys. Come on. We got one good story. Come on. 
I think I'm going to start doing this weekly, man. I fucking love this shit. Maybe we'll do this, Alex. The first uh, half hour for my IG Live, and then the last half hour would be scam stories. I think this is a fucking great new segment that has not been done before. I fucking love it. All these people that said trial and error, are you guys successful? Don't be scammy. I mean, that's the thing, man. It's like you guys are giving advice so you, just to try to fucking try to be smart. You know, like, fuck, man, unless you fucking are successful, why are you giving people, telling people there's no scammer, trial and error? Does that work for you? Are you a fucking successful trader that you can give these advice? You see the stupidity of this? This is what I fucking hate. I, hate, I see people giving advice. I don't fucking give you advice on how to fucking, fucking play football. I don't fucking know how to play football. You know, I think I have, you know, like, it's like, you know, shit like that, right, guys? It's kind of like, everybody has an, it's like, an opinion is like an asshole. Everybody has one. Sometimes you got to keep that asshole shut. Okay, one more, guys. Come on. Come on, one more, guys. And Sir Knox, I appreciate the fact that you stopped spamming. Thank you, man. You see, tough love works. I am, I am a very, I don't get mad. I mean, I don't stay mad. I get mad, but I don't stay mad. So I, I, you know, everyone, I hate this cancel culture bullshit. People have the right to redeem themselves, the right to fucking change. Everybody has the right to redeem themselves and change. So fuck the cancel culture. Cancel culture is a scam. <laughs> see, that's funny, right? Oh, shit. Cancel culture is a scam. That's it, guys. I guess we'll see you. Cool, guys. Thank you for joining the segment. We'll see you on the webinar, 2 p.m. We're going to post the links up in uh, – it's easy. It's a, it's a YouTube. For those that are not, it's YouTube Live on my, uh, my Investing Club account, guys. I'll see you guys. Thank you, guys. It's been great. I'll see you guys.